There are several different ways to save a document in LibreOffice. Save. Save as. And save a copy. These are the basic ways to save a document to a computer's hard drive or connected drives, so it can be opened and edited again. Users also can save documents to several different types of servers through the Save Remote feature. A document also can be exported to several different formats. This video will focus on the first three functions that were mentioned. Save. Save as. And save a copy. They all use the same dialog for naming and choosing a location to store the document. The save function can be performed several different ways. Through the file menu that is in all six applications and start center. Click the file menu. Then click save. A second way to save a document is through the standard toolbar in all six applications. Click the disk icon that is in the toolbar. Here is the icon in Writer. In Calc. In Impress. In Draw. In Math. And in Base. In the status bar at the bottom of the document, there is a red icon that saves the document when it is clicked. The icon differs depending on the operating system you are using. Here it is in Fedora. In Mac. And in Windows 7. The keystrokes for saving a document are Control button and the S key. If you are using Windows or a Linux distro. Mac users need to press the command key and the S key. Those are the different ways to perform the save function. Perform any one of these for the first time, and the save dialog that will be covered in a minute will launch. Subsequent times they are performed, the document will simply be updated. The save as function and save a copy function will also launch the dialog. The save as function allows a document based on the one being worked on to be created. The newly created document will replace the one it is based on as the active document. Performing the function launches the save dialog every time it is pressed. This allows it to receive a new name, a new location to be stored, and a new file format. For example if I wanted to create a new business plan document based on this one, I would give it a new name, and, if desired store it in a different folder and change its file type. Notice, after performing a save as, the new document is the one I am working in. The save a copy function is like the save as function, it creates a copy of the document being worked on. However, unlike save as, it does not replace the original document as the active one. The original remains open to be edited. Each time save a copy is clicked, the dialog is launched. If I perform a save a copy function on the same business plan and create a third plan, the original business plan will still be the one I am working on. The new business plan will be in storage. The save dialog has three parts to it. The name text field, the file format drop-down menu, and the listing of system folders. There also is a checkbox for protecting a document with a password. This is covered in a separate video on the OS College website. The document's name can be changed by typing over the text that is in the name field, or by editing it. If the document is being saved for the first time, untitled and a number will appear in the field. In some operating systems it will be highlighted. Type over the text with the desired name. Spaces and some punctuation can be valid parts of the name. 
forward slashes are not allowed in file names. The drop-down menu at the bottom of the dialog contains several different commonly used file formats. These include the ones from Microsoft, Open Document Formats, and HTML. After typing a name, click the drop-down menu. Then click the desired format. The next step is to choose the folder where it is to be stored. The largest part of the dialog is the list of folders and documents that are in the computer's directory or connected drives. The left column in most operating systems has a list of popular folders or ones that were placed there for easy access. Click folders in the left column and double click folders in the large area to enter the folders until you enter the folder where you want to save the document. Click the save button in the dialog, after you have selected the desired folder. This video from OS College has been about several different types of save functions in LibreOffice and the save dialog. More videos about LibreOffice are on the website. If you are watching this on Facebook or another social media site, you can learn about LibreOffice through posts on this page. YouTube viewers be sure to click subscribe to be connected with the OS College channel.